is live. Hands up in the air. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Facebook. This is the part of the live that is not my favorite, but I'm Noelle Upchurch. Welcome. And um, we are here tonight on a reveal for our awesome quote for the week. And um, I just want to go ahead and introduce Dana Taylor Bell. She's going to open up this evening for us. Go ahead, Dana. Well, hello, Facebook. Welcome to The Reveal. We are so glad to see you here. And if you're following any of these participants that you see on the screen, you'll see their lovely posts that they've been posting all week about the hashtag risks. So we are going to be revealing the quote that is surrounded around that hashtag. So we'd love if you drop a comment as well. Let us know where you're watching from. All right, back over to you, Noelle. Thank you, thank you so much, Dana. And um, this week we had our friend Carmen choose an inspired quote for us. And so Carmen's gonna share a little bit about the author and the quote. Go ahead, Carmen. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Carmen Gable. I picked this quote because I've been actually studying this book. It's called First Steps to Wealth by Danny Johnson. And the quote is, you cannot grow if you are afraid of taking risks and making mistakes. Mm -hmm. This quote means so much to me. I have had, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. And this is so, uh, this quote is so meaningful to me because of all the diversity of, of, businesses that I've run and businesses that I've had uh, it means so much you know Danny Johnson started started you know uh, in the back seat of a car she was homeless uh, she made millions and then lost it all and then made millions again and lost it all and then and then through her faith and finding her true purpose in what she wanted and using that purpose to uh help people grow wealth in in this book and using her purpose and at a higher level to helping women out get out of the sex trade and helping you know um her, her foundation and everything else you got to look her up on youtube it's amazing 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 this this uh lady has truly in my inspiring um read right now it's it's amazing and you know when you this quote right away at the very end it says risks and making mistakes I don't necessarily think that it's mistakes in a negative way also you got to think of mistakes uh in in a positive light because if you don't take that risk and you end your life with so many what ifs no matter what the outcome, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if, if that would be beneficial, like to, to, like to myself, for one thing of, of just being able to grow as a person. Thank you, Nicole. Oh my Back gosh. To you, Noelle. Thank you so much, Carmen. That was awesome to hear a little more background. And I have to admit this week, I didn't do the research that I, but now I'm so excited to go in and learn more about her and this book. And I see some of you already have that. And I really look forward to um, learning more about it. But Carmen, I especially loved your explanation that you brought to us and you've been a coach for me in success through vision. And I still apply those principles every day. And um, so just everything you you bring to our community and all your background and all the entrepreneurial, <laughs> um, you know, adventures that you've had, um, you know, you bring that strength and experience and, and possibilities for more growth to all of us. So thank you so much. Thank you for this quote this week. Um, we're going to go to Kat, Coach Crazy Cat. Go ahead, Kat. Hi. And Carmen, thank you so much for that beautiful introduction. And I love what you said about mistake. And a mistake shouldn't be viewed as a negative because you learn something in every single situation. 
And if anybody's like me, I spent so much time worried about what people thought and worried about not being perfect that I didn't do anything. And that's a really scary place to be in because if you're not growing, you're dying. So not growing is headed in one path that you know for sure, right? Or you can go and take risks and you can learn and make mistakes and not worry about fear and these things that you don't know about and actually live this amazing, beautiful life. So anyway, so it's funny how fear ended up being the thing that we're most afraid of, but it's really just a thing in our head. You know what I mean? Get over it, keep going. So back to you. I was on mute, excuse me. Cat um, Cat does not take risks. She is very safe, but she does love to jump from planes, if that <laughs> gives any explanation as to what kind of risks Cat likes to take. So Sally, Sally Cruzan, can you share with us tonight about hashtag risks? Sure, uh, thank you for having me tonight. Um, so it kind of echoes what everyone else has been saying. I mean, in terms of business, um, we do, we have to put ourselves out there um, every day so we can serve others. And sometimes that makes us very vulnerable. Um, during this week, I had um, something really tragic happen to a friend of mine. And I think it's important to, to share here because it, it parallels. So I had a child a friend who lost 28 year old daughter to suicide this week. And um, when Carmen just mentioned um, the what ifs, you know, what if someone had done something differently? What if someone had taken a, you know, a different type of a risk reaching out to someone? Um, and it just made my silly fears of not reaching out and, and sharing different parts of my business seem just so like silly. Um, and this particular friend of mine, she took a risk really sharing very vulnerably with others, you know, what had happened and putting, um, you know, some type of voice um, that out in the world that her daughter didn't have. So we are all privileged here to have a voice to help others. And we have to take that risk every day, um, you know, sharing what we have in our various businesses, because, um, you know, that's what we're here. We're empowered to do that. So we, we need to step into that privilege. So that's what it I didn't know that's what it was going to mean to me this week, um, but everything kind of happens in uh, God's time, and um, and that was the message um, this week. So thank you for letting me share that. Thank you, Sally. Yes, and your friend was very brave. I did see her message, and um, it's important to advocate for people that don't have a voice. So thanks for sharing, and. Um, I want to go now to Laura Brown. Laura, thanks for joining us tonight and tell us about this quote and this hashtag and what that meant to you. So what risks mean to me is really jumping out of your comfort zone and being able to grow and being able to learn and learning by your mistakes. So I, I kind of refer back to uh, the role that I have in, in the company that I work with. And I really took a leap of faith and took a risk on a new position. And I had to look at everything, the good and the bad. And I didn't know really what I was getting into, but I wanted to grow and I wanted to learn. And so I took that leap. And then in May, I tried some new products from a company that really helped with, with my health. And I decided to also take a leap on starting my own business. And, and I had to look at it and say, well, that's a risk, but you just have to put yourself out there and take a risk and learn and grow. And that's what it meant to me. Ah, oh, thank you so much. And you have, I, I've never thought to myself, where's that Laura Brown? Because I see you and you're doing great. Thank you. With um, what you bring to people to show what you have to offer and then taking the time to compile it too. You have an awesome testimony that's really been important for me to hear and read and see. So thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yeah. So Nicole, Nicole Connor, Coach Nicole, hashtag nourish. Go ahead and bring it for us. 
Sure. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for watching live on Facebook. For those of you watching the replay, hello, hello. Just drop in the comments, hashtag replay, or let us know where you're watching from. This is an amazing group of people here who are taking an incredible class called Story Cell. And our goal and mission is to bring light and life to the internet. And this quote that Carmen Gable quote chose um, from this amazing book by Danny Johnson, the first steps to wealth is available to you on her website for free. All you have to do is pay for shipping. So get this book, y'all. It is so, so good. She teaches some incredible principles here um, that really have helped me to step out of my comfort zone when it comes to not only taking risks, but not beating myself up for making mistakes too. So over the last several years in reading her books and others like it, um, it created an opportunity for me to be open to hiring a coach, hashtag HAC, hire a coach. And the reason I felt like it was a big risk for me is because I trusted in people probably who let me down for a long period of time. I wasn't sure that I was worth the investment or that my ideas were worth the investment. Um, and I found a great coach in Kiwi Whitehead and she's never let me down. She's over delivered. Um, she's helped me to become a coach myself, not only for this class, but others. And so what I wanted to just share with all of you and those of you watching, if you've been watching my stories this last week, is to take a risk in becoming a part of something that maybe um, you weren't really sure you wanted to be a part of. For example, we have um, a success through scripture, which this book is based in scripture. Her other book here is based in scripture. Um, and we are currently studying a book called More Than Enough by Kevin Mullins. So my encouragement to all of you is take a risk be a part of our Success Through Scripture group, get on board with the principles in this book, all based on scripture, and jump in and be a part of something in a group like this that can bring light and life to your, to your world. So back to you, Noel. Thank you so much, Carmen, for this amazing quote. It has been very inspiring for me to invite people to be a part of something and step out of their comfort zone. Back to you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Nicole. Nicole always does a great job for us. She's usually the doing the interviewing here. And so um, Dana, Dana Taylor Bell, my friend in Sacramento, she opened up our call and Dana shared this hashtag and quote. Yeah, so we take risks every day in life, really. Um, when we get in our, our automobiles, we're taking risks. And uh, a lot of people don't think of it as that way. Uh, they just think, oh, while well, they're getting in their car. But when I looked at this, the quote, and I associated growing with it, I thought about, wow, I don't want to be in a position where I ever say, oh, I should have, could have, would have. And I definitely don't want to have on my headstone, she didn't take risks. Because we have to take risks in order to grow. Um, if God doesn't see us taking risks, especially when he gives us talents, then we're not going to get more talents from him. He will give them to someone else. And it's not to say that every time you do something new or do a new task, that it's going to be successful. But it's just taking that one step forward, two steps forward that get you to that end product or that gets you much closer to saying, wow, um, I was able to grow through that task. So back to you, Noel. Wow, Dana, that was awesome. I'm so glad you mentioned about the talents. And um, well, this was hashtag risks, but I wouldn't feel like I was taking a risk. I would know with Dana, if I was to seek advice, I would be in good hands. Thank you so much, Dana. And Sarah, Sarah Kirschke. Sarah, what did this quote and hashtag mean to you this week? Hello, thank you, Noelle. I really appreciate that. Um, so the quote, I'll just remind everybody, is you cannot grow if you are afraid of taking risks and making mistakes. Um, so growth is, you know, it's something that comes with courage and it does come with getting past fear. Um, so doing things, you know, that maybe not be perfect, but, you know, most people don't really relate to perfection. So just do things and, you know, get content out there or 
you know, just be you, be your silly self or, you know, however you are, don't, don't let the naysayers uh, get you down and, you know, have, have fear hold you back in doing things, even if they're not perfect. So just, um, I like to say, try, try, try and try again. <laughs> and no matter what, just keep going and don't give up and take those risks and see where they lead you. I always say risk leads to reward. So, you know, the, the harvest is around the corner. Just keep taking those risks and keep doing and um, just keep pushing forward. So yeah, move past fear, do live videos, do things that get you out of your comfort zone um, and just, just go for it. So back to you, Noelle. Thank awesome. You. Great advice to give people. And I have to tell you, there are certain days that I see Sarah's beautiful selfies and I'm like, this girl is not afraid. And she is always looking confident and good. And I just want to say to everyone, that is the cool thing about stories. You don't take too much of a risk because they disappear. <laughs> but thank you, Sarah. I always love your, your stories and your posts, especially when you get those dogs in there too. <laughs> so Kay, we are heading over to Kay to talk about hashtag risks and also another person not afraid to take risks. Go ahead, Kay. <laughs> um, I, I really related to this a great deal. The first, I don't know, the first 20 years of my life, I took a lot of risk. And in thinking about this this week, I realized there's been times when I made mistakes. And so I, um, I spent time after a mistake criticizing myself. And in the last two weeks, I've really had a new awareness and have been working very carefully on my self-talk about I take a risk, it's making a mistake, and I then can do something different. It's, I can act rather than, oh, giving, criticizing myself. So this thing about taking risks, I, I go, yeah, it's, um, I'm really related to this is I have grown a lot in the last two years, a lot more than 18 years before. And so, um, hey, I'm earning some gray hairs <laughs> by taking more risk and growing. So well, thank you. mistake and then do something new. <laughs> awesome. Back well, and I can't wait to find out, like I said, more about you because I know that you're not afraid to take risks because you went and lived in some different different locales around the world. So that that's a big adventure right there. Thank you so much, Kay. Wanda, Miss Wanda, with the American flag in the background, talk to us about risks and the quote. Hello, beautiful ladies. Um, thank you for having me, Noel. So when I think of risk, I think of, I have lived all of my life in thinking ahead of what it is that could happen. I lived my life. Well, if I did this, I'm gonna break a leg or I could break a leg. So I'm trying to get out and risk things. So for instance, um, last year we were out with my um, great nephews and them and I got on a air couch on the pool, I mean, out on the lake and they pulled us on the uh, couch. Me sitting out in the air, not tied down, just sitting. That was a risk. So my point is, we have to live a life, me first, of not thinking of the consequences of what might happen, but what, what good could we get out of it? What joy could we get out of it? Where, who could we help? What, you know, so thank y'all for helping me grow through my risk or throw, grow through whatever it is, fear I have of um, whatever I could, something could go wrong. You know, I, it's, I lived my life, literally lived my life that way. So thank y'all for this. Um, thank y'all for giving me the courage to get past and, and risk whatever it is, 
and doing stories and, and getting myself out there. So thank y'all for that. Back to you, Noel. Thank you, Wanda. Well, that's awesome because I'm a big cheerleader for Wanda and um, the next person she has to help in this world because I know she's got a lot inside of her to, to help people. Um, she's just natural at that. All right, here we go to Jessica, Jessica Gibson. And Jessica's just doing awesome and keeps us all, you know, excited with her stories full of color and all kinds of stuff going on. So what were you thinking with risks in the quote this week? Hey, Noel, thank you. Thanks for everybody listening. Um, to me, risk was, it means to me like faith. Um, we're supposed to, God wants us to build our lives and have a foundation built on faith. And so, um, you know, you get scared with fear and doubt because that's what the devil plants in your mind. And you, you got to trust God and take the risk and, you know, and learn from your mistakes because God wants us to grow. And you're like crazy cat says, you don't want to be a zombie. You want to have a mega life. You want to be able to grow and you know, growth and, and get things done and not, and not be scared to do things. And in order to do that is you got to risk it. God wants you to take the risk. He wants all of us to risk because there's so many things he has in store for us. And we're never going to know if we don't take the risk. And if we make a mistake, that's okay. We keep on going. And that's what I love about this class is helping me with my fear and my doubt. And if I make a mistake, it's okay. You know, I took a risk when I started this business that I have that I really love. And um, I see myself each day. I may not be doing something right, but I try to figure out ways where I can, you know, what is going to work, you know, for me. Um, all I know is I'm not never going to give up and I'm going to keep pushing forward and um trust in God and with his help um good things good things come so um don't fear and don't doubt keep going and have faith and take those risks back to you Noel oh wow you closed that out strong thank you so much I just like everything you said at the end there well the whole thing but just how you <laughs> drove it home at the end all right, so our fearless leader, Kiwi Whitehead, is up next to talk about risks and the quote. And how do I follow all of this? So I took some notes to piggyback off. So I want to just highlight the book again. I think Nicole has hers out as well, and Carmen has a copy. Um, I want to plug Danny that, again, you can go to Facebook under Danny Johnson, First Steps to Wealth. She has a page on this book. You can hit her website from there. You can go get this book and only have to pay for shipping, okay? Uh, this is a great book, First Steps to Wealth, is where the quote came from, where Carmen and I actually kind of done this book together. Um, uh, definitely referred in my breakthrough class. Lots of people hit the book from there, but it's, Danny's someone I've followed for about three years. She's incredible, lots of free stuff. I think somebody mentioned YouTube, she has her own channel. I uh, just wanted to plug her. Another book that's really good after this one is Success Note, Spirit Driven Success. And if you're the person that worked with me on it, because I don't want to call anybody out, but if you want to share just to plug with me, it was me. We did a book study and I'm talking about major breakthrough. Go ahead, Wanda. You can say it was me. She raised her hand. Yeah. It was me. <laughs> so here's what I do when I'm coaching. I let I have a lot of intuition and, and spirit guidance of what does that person need? And I really rely on it. And I use books by Danny and Dr. Mike and Kevin and some others that have been mentioned who will continue to be mentioned in our stories class. But these books are incredible. So the first thing about taking a risk is the risk. It's not a risk, but people feel it is. Take the risk and get off the ledge. Invest in yourself. You are worth it. We, there's so much self-sabotage. So risk around self-sabotage is truly connected. Another thing I see, uh, like Kat was talking about, we do nothing because of risk. So we go that route where we do nothing and we're paralyzed. Then we go the other route where we just say, well, we made a mistake. 
and we're not learning from the mistake. The other thing I can share real risk, and this was where all my stories came from this week, was not asking for help. And I had a wise friend and coach tell me a story, and I'm not going to tell the background, but I will tell the story because it truly lines up, that there were some people in a maze and they were blindfolded and they're walking around and the winner was the one who asked for help. But we, we prevent it because of the risk of feeling dumb or the ego, right? Oh, I can't ask for help because I'm super mega smart. It's that self-sabotage again. And so anyway, that's what risk means for me. That's what this quote means for me. You can grow through things with risk if you're willing to grow, if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to ask for help. And that would be hashtag HAC, like Nicole mentioned, hire a coach, hire somebody, a mentor that can help you. You can start right here in this book. I would say Danny is my mentor if I am studying her, right? She's helping me even though we're not on the phone. She's a mentor because I plug in. And I just encourage everybody, thank you for the time today and allowing me to talk. If you don't have her book, go get it. And we'll tag her in the comments. Thank you, Noelle. Back to you. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm super excited because I have not been following Danny Johnson. And now I'm really pumped to do that. So I'm just going to share a little bit of what hashtag risk meant for me. And um, we have the honor of, and privilege of having Dawn close out the call tonight. So I'm looking forward to handing it over to her. But what I wanted to say is what I heard in what people were saying are two things. Um, number one, I think if we make the mistake, because we use the word mistake a lot because it's part of the quote, then um, I've certainly have had periods of time in my life where I've had to forgive myself in every moment. Mm -hmm. So and, and so that's okay. So the forgiveness that comes with the mistake and um, because that's kind of rounding it out too, you know, seeing it full circle and whether that's ourselves or the next person and it is not always easy. And it's because it's not always easy to turn off that voice inside of our head that just isn't gonna let us get over this. Um, and what I would say in terms of what Kibi was talking about is um, go find somebody that supports your dreams. End of the day. That's what it is. So I'm looking forward to having Dawn close us out because she is back from the beach and she's going to just end us here on a nice calm note. So take it away, Dawn. Thank you, Noelle. Wow. What a great, great session today. So this quote, you cannot grow if you are afraid of taking risks and making mistakes by D Danny Johnson is amazing. First of all, there were so many great things that were said and a lot of the stuff that um, resonates with me in and around risk is, for those of you who know me well, know that I'm a big risk taker. So everything that I do, I just put myself out there. Just take a risk. You aren't growing unless you're risking something. Making mistakes. Mistakes are okay, they're good. I mean, I heard a lot of mistakes is not a negative. The more mistakes you make, that means you're growing, you're stretching, getting out of your comfort zone, um, hire a coach. There's so many different things. So what I had put down was invest in yourself. Take a chance. Hire somebody. Lock arms with somebody, a coach, a mentor, somebody. Read a book. Do those sorts of things. Um, I took a risk with my health in taking a chance that something might work through a grab bag or dirty Santa gift. And then look what wound up happening. And that was from Kibi. And bam, next thing you know, I have a whole nother business, got my life back. That, I mean, what if I didn't take that risk? You know, what if I didn't take that risk? I don't want to ever be the person to sit back and ask what if. At the end of my life, I don't want to be able to say, what if I would have only done this? Or if I would have tried that stuff? whatever it was. Um, take a risk, invest in your health, adventure. You know, we get to color our canvas of life however we want it to look. So, you know, take, take chances. 
um, all different kinds of things. So let's see, there was a few other really, really good things that people said. Um, trust God, no fear, no gain. Um, no doubt, have faith. Um, mistakes shouldn't be viewed as negatives. Get out of your comfort zone. Sometimes get out of your own way. Hire a coach. Oh my goodness, hire a coach. People need help. Sometimes we, it's just, we are all caught up in our own head that we can't get through. We can't see the forest between the trees. So get out of your own way. Take a risk, hire a coach, never give up. And don't worry about what other people think. The ones that are sitting back, self-analyzing, their opinions don't matter. Follow the four agreements, live by those. The four agreements, if you live by, who cares what other people think? Don't worry about their opinions. So with that, I just want to, there were so many really, really good things that were said tonight that resonate. And I want to thank you all for joining us, tuning in this Monday evening and um, on a reveal of hashtag risks. We are so grateful for your support. Please drop a comment down below. Let us know where you're tuning in from and be sure that you are here next Monday to see what our hashtag this week is going to be all about and what that quote is. So until next time, we'll see you then. Bye.